Am I interested in it? This one should be a given, but if you aren't interested in the topic, then it's going to be a long, boring process to complete an assignment on it. Start looking out for things that interest you as soon as you know you have a research assignment and keep a list so you have options when it comes time to choose. Or you can brainstorm about issues that interest you to help you choose one. Even if your topic is assigned, you can find some aspect of it that is interesting to you. Does it match the assignment? Read the directions and rubric carefully and make sure that your topic is going to work for this assignment. How the Star Wars instrumental music score reflects the character's moral motivations is a legitimate and interesting research topic. But it's not going to work if the assignment is to choose a theme from the lyrics of a soundtrack to explore. Ask your professor for clarification of examples of acceptable topics if you aren't sure. Do I already have a set opinion? Research is about inquiry and exploration. In other words, the purpose of research is to discover new knowledge or solve a problem in a new way, not prove an opinion you already hold. You can have a hunch or a hypothesis, but if you have a fully formed argument or assumption coming into the assignment and you're just searching for sources to back it up, you're missing the point of research. Approaching research in this way leads to bias. Your topic should be open-ended and approached with curiosity. Research should lead you to multiple perspectives from which you choose the most convincing or put together to form an original conclusion. Are other scholars writing about this topic? Choosing a topic is research. You can't develop an informed understanding of a topic based only off of anecdotes or opinion pieces found in magazines and news sites. Analyses, reviews, studies, statistics, quantitative and qualitative data provide more substantial evidence and these are most often provided by scholars and researchers. Also, if you're writing an academic assignment, then you're entering a scholarly conversation, even if the only audience is your professor or classmates. So it makes sense to include what other scholars say. Interest is important, but if there's no one talking about your topic, you'd have to conduct a study yourself to find evidence for your paper. Unless that's part of the assignment, you're making it harder than it has to be if you choose a topic no one else is writing about. For example, there's very little written on what motivates college students to tailgate, as interesting as it may be. How do you know if scholars are writing on your topic? Do a preliminary search in places you know scholarly writing is found. A general or related subject database would be a great place to start. Is my topic the right scope for research? If no one is writing about your topic, then it is too narrow. You can always broaden the topic and use your original as one example in your assignment. As we just saw, not many scholars are writing about what motivates tailgaters in particular. But we don't have to give up on the topic just yet. Tailgating is one fan activity out of many. One way to broaden a topic is to think more generally about it. If you search for sports fan behavior in general, it turns out that people are writing about this broader topic. But now the topic is too broad. Read through some of the abstracts from the broader search to find what's interesting to you. This will give you a starting point for a researchable topic scope. For example, this article is about community as a main factor of fan loyalty to a particular team. A topic with an appropriate scope drawn from this source would be to explore the factors that contribute to sports team activity attendance. And I can still incorporate tailgating as an example of a community activity. Even though I based my topic off the source, I made it just a little broader than the study reported in the source itself so I could incorporate other perspectives on fan loyalty. A topic can also be too broad. When you search a broad topic, there will be too many sources to read and too much to talk about for an assignment with a page limit. Let's look at the topic, Are Men Smarter Than Women? This would be very difficult to write about. How are we defining smarter? Does smarter mean higher IQ? better memory, better problem-solving skills, emotional intelligence? How would we measure that? I need to be more specific in order to answer it. Here are some things to consider when you need to make a topic more specific. The answers will depend on the discipline you are researching. Who? Who are you interested in? Who can be aspects of the population you're looking at, such as age group, gender, ethnicity, or cultural group? A species you're wanting to learn about, a person or group in history you'd like to explore, 
or a character in a work of literature if your research is in the humanities. What? What about the population, species, or person are you interested in? Health, emotional state, behavior, cognitive ability? What could also refer to an issue such as climate change, racial relations, or a new law? Or it can be an event or movement in history, a literary theme, or a business practice. Where? A specific country, region, state, or city? How? What methods are used to make a comparison or collect data on your topic? Another way to think about this is to ask who would be interested in your topic. For example, are you thinking about it from a historic angle? A gender studies angle? Would a business person want to know about the topic? How do you know what methods or angles are being used to explore your topic? You might have to do a little research to find out. When? When is an important question for historical research or if you are exploring a very current issue? Looking for sources from the 19th century is different from more current sources. Not all of the questions will apply to every topic, but including two or three in your topic statement or research question can help make it specific enough to answer within a page limit. If you're having trouble coming up with these specifics, you can always browse your search results for ideas to answer them. Let's look at Are Men Smarter Than Women as an example. Who? Adult men and women. What? Memory. Where? United States. How? Short-term recall. Here is a new topic using more specific information. What effect does gender have on memory for adults in the United States? This is specific enough to focus your paper, yet leaves enough room for discussion and analysis of several sources. Ironically, research isn't an exact science. Ironically, you will probably go through several cycles of broadening and narrowing before you reach a researchable topic for an academic paper. Since it is an area you don't necessarily know a ton about, it is part of the process to tweak or completely change your focus as you become more familiar with the sources available. That is one reason to start early and go through these questions before getting your topic approved. Once your topic is approved, you need to ask your professor's permission before changing it. The process of choosing a topic may seem overwhelming or time-consuming, but it will actually save you time in the long run. Having a collection of focused, related sources will give you what you need to write a strong paper and make it much easier to write.